Hey guys, welcome back to my garage. In this video, I'm going to show how to set up CNC 12 version 4.14 for use uh, in bench testing centroid oak. Um, there are some subtle differences between earlier versions of uh, the CNC 12 software and I wanted to try and go through them just to go through a bench test. So uh, with that, let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get the software installed. I already have CNC 12 version 4.14 on my desktop, so I'm going to double click on it. And I'm going to double click on the application which says Centroid Oak All in One DC CNC 12 uh, 414D right here. We're going to say yes. I agree. We're going to do mill. Let's say next, install, next, and the MPU connects to the PC through the network adapter which must have a static IP address of 10.168.41.1. Please select the network adapter you would like to use with the MPU 11 and attempt to change its IP address will be made. Click on it. We're not going to use Wi-Fi. This has a Wi-Fi so I'm going to leave that. We're going to click on network. That network adapter, we're going to say yes. And we're going to finish. Yes, we want to install a PLC. We're doing Oak, so we click on Oak. And we're going to go with Centroid Standard. And we're going to click Install. Installation is complete. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start CNC 12. And uh, the first thing that software is probably going to do is go ahead and update the firmware in Oak. There's the firmware update, and it's rebooting. Okay, at this point, we've got to install the software and locks. Okay, I'm at the main screen, and this is a good screen to be at. That's because uh, CNC PC and uh, Oak are communicating. So I need to enter my uh, unlock demo code. So we go to Utility, F7, and then we go to Option, which is F8. And then we're going to unlock an option, F1. And my unlock parameter number is 297. And then the unlock value for my particular machine. They're all different. They're unique to each motion control hardware. Double check I got everything right. And my demo code is installed now. So I'm going to do continue. All right. So this was all very first part of the bench test 4.1, uh, which was uh, enter your so software unlock demo code, press F1, F1 unlock option. And then if you have any other unlocks, go ahead and install them using the sheet that's provided with your Oak. All right. And then get back to the main menu from software add-ons and just hit escape, escape until you're back to this particular screen. And the next step it says, 
we from the main screen press F1 setup and then F3 config F1 setup F3 config 137 enter and then we're going to hit F1 control and then it tells us to set the units of the machine change both the DRO, DRO display units and machine units to either inches or millimeters with the space bar I'm uh, inches minded so I'm going to leave it at inches set max spindle speed to 3000 so we're going to do that and min spindle to zero change machine home at power up to jog with the space bar okay and then it says press F10 to save that if no jog panel is being used disable it this, this step is only required if you do not have a jog panel if you have a jog panel or pendant connect it and continue to step 5 so we don't have one or I should say I don't have one so I'm going to go back to control and I'm going to go down to jog panel required to no and now I'm going to press F10 to save okay so disable faults for testing at the main screen press alt I so we need to get back to the main screen this is the main screen press alt I using the arrow keys move the selection box to the top left of the inputs the screen should read input 1 AX1 minus limit OK as circled below. So I'm up here at the top left and right here it says input 1 axis AX1 minus limit OK so we're correct. It says press the control alt and I key simultaneously to invert this input so I'm going to do that control alt I and it did. It says, the LED will turn from red to green and a line will be drawn over the top. Move the cursor so you can see that. And it is. There's a line over the green. Repeat this process until inputs 1 through 11 and inputs 17 through 20 are green as shown below. So, we'll go to this one. Control Alt I. Next one, Control Alt I. Okay, that's 1 through 11. You can see these are 1 through 9, and then this one's denoting 10, and this one's denoting 11. And then it says do the same thing to 17 through 20. And I'm on 17 as shown right here. So I do a control alt die 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, so those are all inverted. All right, so the next step it says, label the axis from the main menu, press F1 setup, F3 config, 137. So we're going to do F1 setup, F3 config, passwords 137, enter, and we're going to do machine, so machine, and then we do motor. And here you see they're all defaulted X, Y, Z. Under label, this is right under number six, it says under label all axis should be set to no to disable the axis for bench testing as seen in 4.1.6. So we want to go ahead and change these. So we use it, we change them to uh, N, enter, N, enter, N, enter. Everything is N. And this is press F10 to save. Okay. Next step. Clear exist any existing faults. Use the procedure below if you have a fault. To clear a fault, cycle the E stop. And you'll notice right here it says spindle axis 6 encoder differential error. So let's do what it says first. I'm going to go back hit escape to main screen and then we're going to do alt i it says press the alt i keys to bring up the real time io screen alt i and then it says use arrow keys on the keyboard to select input 11 e stop okay 
e-stop OK. And it says to toggle it. It says press the Control Alt I keys to cycle the e-stop OK until the input turns red then green. So we hit it, it's red, and you can see in the dialog box it says emergency stop detected. We're going to hit it again to turn it green. Emergency stop released. Okay, you see here we have two errors, MPG1 encoder error and spindle axis 6 encoder differential error. So we have two errors here. And we need to correct those. So this is not in the, the uh, CNC in the, uh, the earlier version 11 install manual. So we're going to go to setup, F1. And we're going to go to config, F3, and we're going to do 137, enter. We're going to go to parameters, F3, and we're going to go over to parameter 348. And it says right here, if you look down here, it says MPG1 encoder input. Since we don't have an MPG encoder, we're going to set this to zero. That's 348 to zero. Okay? And then let's see what that, that has uh, done to our display. So we're going to go escape. And then you notice uh, we need to cycle the e-stop. So I'm going to do Alt-I. And we're, we're sitting on the uh, input 11, so I'm going to do a Control-Alt-I and a control alt I. Okay, so it says spindle axis 6 encoder differential error. So we need to turn off since, since we have no encoder on the machine yet. So let's go back into F1 setup, F, uh, F3 config, 137, and then we go to parameters, F3, and now we're going to look for the spindle encoder. Okay, to disable the spindle encoder is parameter 35. You see it says 6, that means it, the software and the, the control is looking for encoder signals on 6. And if you look down here under spindle axis is 0 disabled, so we're going to disable that. Hit enter, and then we're going to do an F10 save. All right. So now we're going to go back. We're going to do the we're going to do the Alt I diagnostic screen. We're going to cycle the E stop. Control Alt I. We're going to do a Control Alt I again. All right. Okay. Now, so far so good. No, no other errors have come up. It's cleared. Now let's try the MDI and let's see what we get. Now we have an MDI screen. So at this point. Uh, Technically, we're good to go, so I'm going to do, just for giggles and grins, I'm just going to type something in there, M3 S2000. Okay, and if you look up here, it's commanded in S2000. All right, so uh, I want to show you another feature. I'm going to escape out of this. In version 4.14, you can turn on the virtual control panel. I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. We're going to go again into F1 setup, F3 config, 137, enter. We're going to go parameters, F3, and the parameter to turn on virtual control panel is 219. And here it is. Now, unfortunately, there's no legend down here. It just tells you virtual control panel options. To turn it on, we simply press 1. All right, we're going to save that. Okay, we're going to hit escape. We're going to shut down. We have to exit the software and come back into it. So it will uh, enable the virtual control panel. Okay, we're starting CNC 12 mil, and hopefully this time the virtual control panel will come up. And there it is. Uh, so now we can clear uh, our, it's just like toggling the uh, e-stop button here. It'll always come up 
in uh, the trip mode so we're going to reset it so the next thing is we are going to test the spindle output so let me get set up with a meter and we'll go through that okay I'm doing my best to get the control in the field of view and my meter and here's a shot of my probes connected to oak you'll see they're connected to spindle rpm command analog out is the red probe and analog common is the black probe alright the next step it says test the spindle this procedure assumes the spindle is configured for 0 to 10 volts DC put the probes from the multimeter in the AN ground and the AN out on header 2 screw terminals down using MDI mode issue a command to turn the spindle on at 0 RPM and measure the voltage it should be 0 volts so let's go to MDI and we're gonna the example says M3 S0 and then uh, what we can do is we can do a cycle start by doing pressing keyboard alt s you can also use the uh, green button on the virtual control panel to do the same thing but you'll notice our meter is at zero volts now it says using MDI mode issue a command to turn the spindle on at 25 percent of the max spindle speed and set in step 4.1.3 and measure the voltage it should be two and a half volts example if the max spindle speed is 3000 issue an M3 S 750 so M3 S 750 we do alt S on the keyboard and it says the multimeter should read two and a half volts and it does all right, repeat at 50, 75, and 100% of the max speed. The meter should read 5 volts with M3S1500. So let's do that. M3S1500, Alt S, and that's what we should be reading, 5 volts. Now it says, let's do an M3S2250, m 3 s 2250 and then I type Alt S to start, cycle start or again you can press the green button on the virtual control panel and it's at 7.5 volts as we expect it to be and the last one is M3S3000 M3S S3000 Alt S, and we're at 10 volts. Bench testing completed, power off and disconnect the components. Um, before I do that, I want to move the meter so you can see where the cycle start button is on the virtual control panel. Here's the cycle start button on VCP. So let me go back here. I'm going to do an M3S 1500. And now I'll just go over here, instead of hitting Alt S on the keyboard, I'll just press the cycle start button. And there you see we're at 5 volts. Alright, so that should conclude the bench testing of the uh, Centroid Oak. Um, I hope you found this video helpful, and I uh, hope it uh, gets you a little bit further into your uh, bench testing process. Alright, talk to you guys soon.